Right now, I've been writing my mother and I's life story. The story of me and my mother is a story of resilience and survival. My name is Madeline Amfru. My mother's name is Zaituni Murphy. We've both been American citizens for six years. Leaving Tanzania and coming to United States started on December 5th, 1980, the day I got the news that my husband had died in a plane accident. So my life completely changed. I had a beautiful life, a nice life. It became so difficult for me to be a widow with a young child in Tanzania. Losing my husband was the most difficult thing. The loneliness was really occupying my mind so bad that I thought I could not go on again without him. I knew I have nobody else who's gonna support me. I had to stand up and just be on my own. And my mother gave up her life with her family and friends and everything she knew in order for me to come to the United States. When I made the choice to come to United States with Madeline, um, it was a very terrifying decision. The hardest is to think that I am gonna leave my family because family is very important to us. I grew up one of seven. I'm the older of seven, a mom and sister. And so that was important. I'm gonna leave all that behind and take my three-year-old with me and go to a country I don't know anyone. But I knew I had to provide education for this young girl. Failure was not an option. Every day I'm reminded to not waste my time here and not waste anything, any opportunities that come my way. I was able to meet my second husband. I got remarried and which we have two children now. I went back to nursing after having three children. I was able to go back to school in the United States. I know in Tanzania, I will never have been able to do that. Listening to my mom's stories and going back home, I realized how tough people have it. What if we stayed after the tragedy? How much education would I have gotten? Being a child of a new American, it does feel like I'm carrying my mother's torch because she was alone and fought hard and didn't fold. If my late husband, Jubilee Nfurus, could see me today, I think he would be so proud of what I've done. When I look at the Statue of Liberty, it's this strong woman with that hand held way up and that torch. She has a sense of direction. She has triumphed and she is fearless.